welcome back to the perfect painter don't forget to smash the like button comment subscribe um, this is just gonna be a quick video of something I found out about the predator 212 motor um, it is December 26 2020 I got this motor this past summer um, so uh, stay tuned and I'll exp explain what is going wrong with these Predator 212s is not just this one in particular, it's the connecting rod. Um, so stay tuned and I'll explain to you what I found out. As you can see, that thing's junk anyway. Thing is calibrated correct. That was going this way. Now, if I can get you to see this. Going this way, it is the right measurement. Just about. There you go. That way is correct. This way is not. Alright, I'm going to try to show this the best that I can. This is a Predator 212 non Hemi stock connecting rod. I put a billet connecting rod in there not too long ago. You can see the marking. On the inside, this don't even have two hours of runtime. This is not perfectly round. It's out of it's out of roundness. It's, it's not one point one eight six five all the way around. You can see the markings in there and directly across from there on the inside, but it's decently smooth there and decent there the markings there it's reflecting it's hard to see there and across from it going this way going this way is measuring 1.186 it's supposed to be 1.1865 measuring this way where it's cleaner it's still got marks, but not like that. Okay. Going this way, it's 1.1885. So this is not perfectly round. And my engine was knocking brand new. And that explains why. So, uh, they're, they're making these things cheap. They're $100 engines with the coupon. So, I mean... They're made in China. So if you're going to get a Predator 212, it's mandatory to put a billet connecting rod in there, whether it's a Hemi or a non-Hemi. Um, this happens to be a non-Hemi. So they are doing something good with the valve spring keepers. They're putting the lash caps, the, what is it, the keepers inside the lash caps instead of just the kind that slide in, that pop in and slide down. They're actually putting the keepers in the in the caps so that's good but their connecting rods are shit and and this proves it a, a motor knocking straight out the engine i mean straight out the box this is the second one i took the first one back because it was knocking got this one and it did the same thing so if you're going to get you a Predator 212, get a billet connecting rod immediately. Don't even drive the thing because it's going to mark up your crankshaft and it's not worth it. Put the connecting rod in there, then break your motor in. Get a flywheel too if you plan on going above 5,500 RPMs. If you're going to remove the governor. Um, I still got the stock one on here. I'm, I'm going to get a billet one though. So, uh. Yeah, bottom line is these connecting rods are garbage.
straight garbage. So, uh, do yourself a favor if you want your motor to last and get you a billet connecting rod and billet flywheel.